kum si benta bandang ai men sem syo-syo ya ki khun samla jong jella ki badang sudap ban khet yo so ka jing job hadian ka jing trace tam ki bla pas ba ka examen SSLC bat HSSLC hagi kerdan ba khmat e ka tanat puli puthi jong ka sarkar jella kalak pen ko buram bat ai khus nam sha ki prapu arngot ki samla puli ka rilom khasi jaintia bat riboy district ya ka bala pen long halariti international center of performing arts and culture shillong hamau ka siang Hakni kesi u menteri rangba ke jela u Konrad Ke Sangma u le Shemi ke benta komu kongsan ha ke jinga dan rengkat baru rakam e Sangma komu sembut kongsan ya ke balai senran langru da ke Dr Mazel Amprin Lingdo ke balai ke menteri sarkar bade pej ke tanat ke kot ke kia nalor ki wepat ki officer ha ke jinga saki lang ki kimi ki ke pajong ki samla ki bala pedang ya ke kusnam bad kumjo ru ha ke jinga wan ne don benta lang ki khana school na ki school ba phair ba phair kumban chukdo ba ke tanat puli puti ha ke arpoi tri ujin leu arjar pulai kala dap ban pun ko buram ya ki samla puli ki reina ka thain rilom garo bad hakne ka singi ka dei pat yaki samlar ka rilom khasi bad la ai kusnam ru yo swap nel bad acharya u bala pas yaka upsc bad ka negi jing pun ko buram ka longkom shibanta jogar jing rakhi dab jubilee xer jong ka embos yaka balas dang house nam khat khandai spa nyo pulai Nak kaliang jong doktor Mazel Amprin Lingdo ha bakran ha kaniga singi kala penpau ba kapor kala dei ba om dei bandang le ran ban hika ye ki khna school ha ka bai dei bat ka sex education bat kumju ru ye ka moral science knang ba ki khna kin tip ye ka jing corridor jong long rin yang kum ta ki khna ki don kam ru ban tip bat ban lai ru na ka jing armat ha karta ka padang red I would like to see that this symposium understands the relevance of sex education in our lives Why are we shying away from the problem of understanding our own bodies and the development of our bodies? Why must we talk about teenage pregnancy? It is not the government that will do it. It is you, the stakeholders, you the students to understand the value of your life and the value of adolescence. which you will never regain back in your life if you throw it away are we discussing moral science are we discussing health of a woman and the value of the life of a child when it sees the first light of life this is what we do today discuss the problems if people of the state of meghalaya do not have equal access to education and there is a disparity of technology can we design programs called advanced courses and basic courses so that every child in the state of meghalaya and in the system of the state of meghalaya feels that they are a part of it i may not be a topper but i need an education to change my perception of life can we all try to take the jungle out of our minds and teach people that education is but a means to an end to change the life of meghalaya in the near future i congratulate rakam sir wonderful man leading by example But can Rockhamsa do it alone? No, and that is why today we have left whatever we have to do to make sure that we are part of this symposium to take the jungle out of all the wild people who are taking Meghalaya in the wrong direction. Na kaliang usembot kongsan urakam e sangma habakran kumu kongsan ul ai khublei ya barok ki samla ki bala yo ya kane ka kardan bat ai khublei ru ya ki no hi kai ki bala trish tamlang bar ha ka jo ku por ul pan te ba sar ka jilla ka dan jing thmu ban ra ya ka jilla shakawai pat ka mau jam ha ki babon ki liang my heartfelt congratulations to all the rank holder in the last embos examination SSLC and SSLC 2023 and my congratulations to all the toffers and also the head of institutions prince my dear friends it might be the beginning of your career but long miles you have to proceed in any country any community 
that focus on the dimension of education, that country, that community, and that nation, and that state will grow and it can be a living country. And we are certain that our state is on the move. And it could be read from testimony of the various interventions. Habakran kumukwangsan umentri rang ba kajela o konrat ki sang ma olapan pao. Makapor kala daiban persyang bandan ka jing hepher ha ka jing imjong ki priyo bat kumjuru ya kajela na kabenta ban wanra ay ka jing kala ha barok hiliang. Pat ka jing kala ka bakongsan e kanday ka jing pan kala ha ka jing mot jing perkhat jang uwey pa uwey u nong shong shnong. We are trying to make a difference in the people's lives and make a difference in the state. And I start off by telling you that we are working towards change. And I believe that apart from many, many changes which are very important in our lives, be it development, be it different aspects in the society, I personally feel that the biggest change that is needed in our state or in any other country in any other state, which is similar to what Kong Amprin had just mentioned, is the change in the mindset. The change in the mindset is the most important change that will move and take the society and the state forward. I always believe, and this has been one of my most important mantras, I should say, and it's a very commonly known one, which is that we don't need to do different things, but we need to do it differently. And I tell you, I follow this principle in almost everything I do. And that is where the difference in the change in the mindset is required. You need to look at things differently. You need to process it differently. You need to do it differently. It doesn't have to be a different thing. Now today you look at education. When we look at education, we see many, many problems in education. And if you start going into details, it's very complicated. You will not be able to pinpoint or not be able to make a change in the entire process until unless we change our mindset and we approach things differently. And hence, just like education in many, many sectors, we have realized that we need to ensure that while we are doing our programs and development and changing our state, we can't go for a scheme-based approach. What is a scheme-based approach? Scheme-based approach is, have you given so many taps? Have you constructed these many kilometers of road? Have you opened these many schools? That is a scheme-based approach because government is and departments are assessed on the basis of the scheme implementation. But our government started to look at things differently. It's not about the tax that you put, but it is the water that is reaching the house or not is the question. It is not about the irrigation and the canals that you make in the schemes, but the amount of production of agriculture products that has gone up because of the irrigation project that you put in. It is about the number of students who are able to pass out and improve in the quality of education rather than the number of schools that you've put. A change in the mindset and a change in the way we look at the problem. It cannot be scheme based or scheme driven. It has to be purpose driven. What is the purpose behind what we are trying to do? And until unless we don't realize that, we are missing the point. Purpose driven. Government has to work in a purpose-driven mode. Government has to realize and society has to realize it is a holistic approach. It's not about just one part of a child's education. It's a life cycle approach. 
your education and your health and your well-being and the quality of the citizens we produce starts or does not end in the education and the school that we put you in or the education that you get. It starts from the day that you are in your mother's womb.